Hello everybody, welcome to Sanana Mitindo. I am your host Isaac Barak Odera. Kama kama ida. We are starting a new series this December. Tunaingia Christmas. Time ya kukula machapo, mapiza na zile vitu zingine, mambuzi eh wale watu wa eh mimi si nangi ushago Christmas. <laughs> Sasa watu wa kuchinja mbozi mwende mkule mbozi peke yenu. Otherwise I want to invite you to this new series on Kenya's finest MCs and on set I have one of Kenya's finest MCs and he is none other than Ted. Uh, we'll get to know more about him when he started MCing and uh, his story. Uh, so let's dive in. Don't touch that this dial. Remember we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. here on Wema TV. Ted Karibu sana kwa show. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be having you here on set. Thank you for uh, having uko me. Uko tonjo bro. Niko salama. Naona umepiga luku. Luku nimejaribu. Yeah. Yes. Uko sawa, hujajaribu <laughs> ipi kujaribu bro? Uh-huh. Naja Nairobi we have to be humble. You are humble. Uh, yeah, you have to be humble. You see because I kill him too. True, true, yes. true. Um, I'm so excited to have you here on set. Thank you so much for having yes. me. Yes, so maybe uh mtu ana watch show uh mm. na maybe hajui Ted ni nani. Mm-hmm. So you can introduce yourself on your camera okay. who is Ted and what you do okay yes so what are beautiful people i go by the name ted the mc and what i do i make sure you have an amazing amazing event mm-hmm. each and every time you mm-hmm. call me mm-hmm. so yeah without further ado that's ted the mc and yeah let's get to communicate uh, amazing, let's get to talk amazing yeah. amazing i'm already excited and hyped no you my mc ukileta on set <laughs> <laughs> lazima show ishike lazima, lazima show ibambe yes so unaweza tuambia kidogo uh, where did you grow up ted and uh, uh w- how did you enter into the industry but before mm-hmm. then tuambia kwenye uli grow up mtangani mm-hmm. alafu maybe dive in into maybe where you went to high school primary okay. etc okay so um i started way back in umoja uh-huh. that's Umo. where yeah that's where i <laughs> i started this story of ours i was uh-huh. born and raised in a bit of my life in umoja uh-huh. then uh, mom got the privilege of working in kenyatta university uh-huh. so we relocated uh, to kenyatta university okay and then uh, basically part of my entire life uh-huh. has been in kenyatta university uh-huh. until she retired okay yes but usisikie kenyatta university udhani this guy is a sharp <laughs> <laughs> Bana ukishani ambia Kenyatta University I'm like whoa 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 Yeah eh kumbe ma MC wanasomanga Kenyatta University <laughs> yes. uh, so, uh, so you 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 were able to you grew up in Umo alafu muka shift to yeah, now too. staying in campus Yes so ma studio akipita pita ulikuwa umezoea yako na ma student tangu kitabu I was like god I want to reach there because <laughs> university you know how amazing uh, university yes, yes. and freestyle it is yes. so nilikuwa hapo na wish to god and uh, bless nifike there yes. and i get to also experience such a, 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 an environment amazing amazing yes, so yes. Ka primary where did you go to primary so we are right up can i i started off in kenyatta university primary school uh-huh. and then later on i shifted to kerugoya municipality uh-huh. that's where i finished my kc kcpe okay and then from there i went to uh, chavakali high school chavakali yeah, high school it's in western Amazing amazing. Yes, yes. Are there moments you remember in uh, high school? Is there that that particular moment you can remember? Ulikuwa wale ma students subua ama ulikuwa you know me personally nilikuwa wale wa pole wa pole. Uh-huh. Yeah. So w- what kind of a student were you and how did you did you enjoy uh, the the uh, the high school experience high school or the experience. primary experience? How was it for you? It was quite interesting. When I was in form 1, uh-huh. I was nicknamed big baby. Wait 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to do your baby face. <laughs> But it had nothing to do with the face because I was big. I was big like this. Okay. Yes, when I was in form 1. Okay. So I got there uh, people were calling me big baby because I looked like a like a form 4. Uh-huh. Uh, but in real terms, I'm mm. in form 1. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So I like uh-huh. I played um most of the time I was a sporty guy. Uh-huh. I played basketball uh-huh. and uh from there I went to music festival. Okay. Yeah, so after the transitioning first time I was in basketball, uh-huh. then our second time I'm in music festival. Uh-huh. So you can imagine how my parent was really 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 agitated by that fact. Yes, uh, yes, why yes, are you not yes. focusing in class? Bana ulikuwa celeb. In short you were celeb in high school. I honestly was. Yes, yes, yes. 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 But that, that was my journey. Uh-huh. It was a 
amazing because I got to experience uh, a lot of people and mm-hmm. I got to know my character now. Nice, I nice. am more of uh, not an introvert. I mm. am an extrovert to mm. the extreme. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's now where it now led to what I'm doing right now. Nice, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah. I've noticed something. Mm-hmm. Your English mm. is really, really good. <laughs> is it something that has always been there? Do you love speaking English a lot? Hata kuna kiswahili umeongea hapa kwa show. So kidogo na shida wewe ushangaa. You Kenya? Are you from Uganda? Um, um, <laughs> apparently uh-huh. I, I I didn't know I have good English uh-huh. by the way mm. until I was in class Six. Class six. Yeah, so I mm. transferred my school to Kerogoya municipality mm-hmm. and I now was uh, talking to people in the parade. Mm-hmm. And then people now started asking me, are you sure you're Kenyan? Yes. So I have no experience in staying Maju uh-huh. uh, so that I come and tell you, hey, by the Barack, I was in America <laughs> for, for, for the longest time. Uh-huh. But no, 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 it's just uh, God-given if I may say so. Good, good, yeah, good. Yeah, so yeah. both your parents are Kenyan? Both my parents are Kenyan. Uh-huh. Uh, Luyas to be specific. Luyas. Yes, uh-huh. sisi watu wa uh-huh. Ndumbu kwa uh-huh. mwana inyanya. Kutingisha kutingisha mabega <laughs> na kukula sembe. Kukula <laughs> sembe. <laughs> yeah. So uh, 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 I'm forgetting this question. Mm. So basically uh, where exactly in western is that? Uh, Kitale. Kitale. A place called Kiminini. Kiminini. Yeah, Kiminini. So ukifika Kitale Kiminini mm. hapo ndio useme Minyali. Minyali. Yeah, Minyali. Eh. Hapo utakuwa umefika nyumbani. Do you know how to speak Luya? Eh. Atadi atadi kuweka kwa spotlight. Uh, I will say I am a Nairobi kid, but I know kid. I know a few words, uh-huh. but expressing myself in our uh, Luya fluently, hapo nitakuwa nimekuchanga. But you understand that. Yeah, I understand. When at someone least, is talking, I uh, know what they're saying. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. So you finished a uh, high school and then what next? What next? Yes. I joined Campus. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Campus Kenyatta University. At some point I went to J Court. Uh-huh. I did a certificate course uh-huh. and then now I came to do my undergraduate in Kenyatta University now. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I was transitioning from J Court to KU uh-huh. uh, which I took most of my time now in Kenyatta University. Nice. And nice. Kenyatta University is the place where it gave birth to now Ted. Dennis. What did you study in KU? In KU, I did a totally <laughs> different course, human resource management. Oh, I, I, <laughs> but, it's, but it's nice because it deals with people. It deals especially with people. Especially because of the yeah. MC. Yeah. Still kind of like relatable to sure. go. I don't suck people. Yeah. I just... <laughs> <laughs> You're good with give, people. Yeah, good with people and warning letters, you know. Like. Oh, 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 hizo na chukia bana. What a human resource. Wana pianga watu uoga tu. I hated the whole time. Chat. Tricky. Yeah. So you finished KU. Uh, MCing, MC. did you did well, at what point did mm. you officially now dive into the yeah. MC industry? Cuz I ume umeingia umetoka J Quart, mm. did the course and then entered KU. Mm. Uh did the uh go to graduate in mm. HR. Mm. So what 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 next did you did you do MCing mm. in between campus mm-hmm. amani something you did after campus after, oh, so it mm. was during campus okay uh, there's a group called the journey mm-hmm. we it was a christian ministry mm-hmm. that used to bring a lot of students together mm-hmm. and uh, one of these findings they had a friday hangout mm-hmm. it was called uh, if i may not remember it well but it was a friday hangout yes yes and we used to now go there every uh-huh. fridays uh-huh. we get a cup of tea yes and Johnny was known for having beautiful <laughs> women <laughs> hey, nice, nice. i will not lie to you <laughs> Me, i went there for the women uh-huh. but now for the women, for the women. <laughs> You know, being in campus yes, and uh, yeah, I know, I yeah, know, yeah, and and they were so pretty ladies. So uh-huh. I was like, ah, let me just go there so that I get a number or two, uh-huh. you know, yeah, uh-huh. so that at least I get to interact with pretty yes. women. Yes, yeah. So we went there, uh-huh. uh, basically for the women. Uh-huh. But now the good thing is there was more to eat uh-huh. than just the ladies. Uh-huh. So we had a um, after the talk, mm-hmm. there was a pure passion. Now, pure passion was all about dance, all yes. about interacting with people, people uh-huh. playing games. Uh-huh. And Johnny brought games from, it was an American um, sponsored program. Yes. So he brought a lot of games from America. Uh-huh. So we were wondering which games these uh-huh. are. Uh-huh. And that's when we played our, there's this game, this game people are playing now. Scavenger. 
Mama Gani it wasn't scavenger this is yeah. monopoly. Eh, monopoly eh, before yes, then yes, monopoly eh. wasn't known yes. so Jani introduced monopoly to us so eh. we were we, we quite got eh. to eh. feel ourselves like bougie kids yes. yeah so Want to that's talk where, Karen. yeah our total akare understanding the english <laughs> and all that so yeah that's how journey happened eh. and pure passion now gave birth to Ted the MC oh, because nice. every single time they used to dance eh. I just found myself getting the microphone oh, nice. busting a move or two eh. and then from there now Ted started knowing that wow this can be a really really good good place for me so what would you describe your style of MCing because most of the time utapata wengine they are quite hyped mm-hmm. uh, some are a bit laid back mm-hmm. uh, some are a mix of both hype nanini mm-hmm. so what, what is that that is that unique thing about your style of mc mm-hmm. that stands out for ted the mc what work if kiria ted mm-hmm. and maybe you can explain maybe a a, a a scene where which really stood out for you kwa mm-hmm. kwa special mc okay i, I mm-hmm. think i cut across both uh-huh. um, there's the hype yes ted. yes hype. there's the laid back i have <laughs> seen the hype i have seen the hype come on you hype you are the owner there's, uh, the, there's a gig you did at 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 riru stadium Ah, DJ yeah, Terrence. with the DJ Terrence. Yes, he yes. was a lead. I know. Yo, 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 I was in the crowd. I was like, hey. <laughs> the, the, yes, the usual. Yes. The energy. The energy. So I've seen the energy. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it depends with where I'm at. Yes. I'm doing a wedding. Yes. Definitely high parts to be there. Yes. But if I'm doing corporate events, mm-hmm. I have to balance it out yes so that at least there's a bit of hype and there's a bit of being laid back mm-hmm. yeah so it totally depends on where the space is yes but i come out alive when hype is in it yes yeah yes. I, i feel like now this is the real ted you're receiving yes yeah so to pay instance more than a maybe you can remember mm-hmm. uh maybe which really stood out for you as far as the hype style is concerned yes, yes. Gule, piga kasema, whoa i'm a what you are saying whoa piga. Uh, this is the bad thing about having so many hyped uh, gigs uh, <laughs> but the one i remember it was corporate corporate so corporate uh, i was doing a gig with gsk uh-huh. uh that's glycos with our uh, it's a pharmaceutical uh-huh. so we were doing the hype yes and uh it was the, towards the end of the party yes so it was a launch party so uh-huh. they we were winding down yes and then we told guys it wasn't even done we uh-huh. told guys i uh, thank you for ho- having us yes we are glad to be here uh-huh. they literally refused to go home oh they were like you guys have to give us hype kamejika kamejika zan and mark you it's corporate where you need to tone down yes. on the hype mm. we danced and Ish. danced Ish. and danced mm. i cannot forget that day because it was one of the best that mm. means if you do a good job mm. people will want to experience you more and more and more nice. and hence my my motto my motto is very simple mm. creating endless memories creating endless memories yeah so every time you're in an event mm-hmm. your, your your intention is to create a memory mm. that what you're going to this event i can't forget i it. can't forget it amazing it is quite 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 inspiring yeah. so how long did it take you to put your craft and your brand together because it's one thing to be able to uh do the mc mm-hmm. but it's another thing mm-hmm. to be able to turn the whatever you do your art mm-hmm. into a business mm-hmm. sure. you i, I hope mm-hmm. you get me yeah, yeah, because you. uh give capoint in essence you charge people this is how mm-hmm. we charge mm-hmm. this is our rate card it mm-hmm. takes time for you to build the brand mm-hmm. so how, how long did it take you to put yourself together and put your company together and mm-hmm. start now launch deeper into the mm-hmm. entertainment industry mm-hmm. okay uh, i think mine i uh, I think I'd mentioned even before the show yes, there's yes. a point in life that mm-hmm. I had given up on the MC in career. Okay. Because after campers uh-huh. I had no gig. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering and I had a friend of mine who was in the space of events. Yes. And he was doing so mo- so well. Yes. Until I was like God is this really my part? <laughs> I am I really supposed to be taking this part? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I decided ah, I'm getting an 8 to 5 job uh-huh. so that at least it covers the bill yes. and everything. Yeah. So um during before corona uh-huh. I reached out to a, a, an amazing company yes. it's called Ultra Events. Uh-huh. Ultra Events do 
a lot of team building, uh-huh. corporate events, uh, end of year parties. Uh-huh. So I reached out to them and asked one of their CEOs, yes. like, I want to join your team. Uh-huh. And he was so okay about it. He mm-hmm. told me, I've seen you do one or two gigs. Yes. Why don't we do this? Why don't I talk to my team yes. so that I see where we can slot you in? Yes. Uh, Barack. Yes. I was the first time that guy calls me, he tells me, Ted, uh, on Sunday I'm having a concert. Uh, on Saturday I'm having a concert. Uh-huh. I want you to be the MC. Yes. That is how he inducted me to his team. Just like that. Just like that. Whoa. And it was a festival called Pendo Festival, uh-huh. where couples who have been married for a while, uh-huh. and they come together to just have a good and amazing time. That's beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh-huh. And I was able to have that show Uh and for me now that gave me like by the way ted yes all you did a gig Uh and you've been out of the industry for the longest time yes i think i took a five-year break from the industry yeah yeah so from there i just knew this thing is inborn Yes. And from there I decided, by the way, because Songa now comes Ted the MC is becoming a brand. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So Ted the MC. This is one question I ask so many guys who come on set. Mm-hmm. Does MCing pay? Does do arts pay? Because mtu atakuwa zile za eh madhe mimi natakuwa MC. Mm-hmm. Ati naangalia MC Ted. Na no wewe jamaa, wewe jamaa na drive. Wewe jamaa ko fiti anakatua na ball. But most of the time uh, people, parents would be like no. Mm-hmm. I want you to become a doctor, I want mm-hmm. you to become a lawyer, mm-hmm. I want you to get a venye umesema mm-hmm. eight to to mm. to four job eight mm. to five job, to five job. so uh, what's your take on whether or not mm. arts do pay art really pays mm-hmm. Everything really pays yes yes it, mm. i will tell you the truth mm. i have an eight to five job mm-hmm. but it doesn't pay me as much as a one gig can pay me wow yes wow. so it really 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 pays i pray and hope that the notion from our parents yes gets away because most of parents want us to chase our careers. Yes. But I'm seeing is also a career. Wow. That's what I tell every parent wow. who has recognized the kid mm. has a talent in mm-hmm. seeing. Mm. Every place I go, even when I go to gigs yes. and a kid comes and tells me, can I speak in the microphone? Mm. I feel free to give them the microphone. Wow. Because you don't know. Probably that's how you're giving birth Jeez. to this kid who'll be the next big MC. Amazing. For in, in the near future. Yes. Yeah. Which is one moment for you mm-hmm. uh, that you can remember uh, that maybe was quite embarrassing. Yani, where's this how, for me as an MC, yangu ilikuwa viatu ziliaribika on set. Zile viatu unajua tunayenanga, unapiga luku full kutoka jua di chini. Di chini. Sasa mimi nimenunua viatu zangu moto mzuri nimepiga nazo show nimepiga show uh-huh. ai katikati bro uh-huh. viatu vya hizo zikafanya ile kitu i had to i had to do something about them so what about you what, what is that hmm. moment that you can remember that really stands out for you that maybe was quite embarrassing mm-hmm. and you wish it out kabisa kabisa ah yeah i think i remember in eh, campus eh. in campus I do not know what happened. It uh-huh. was culture week. Uh-huh. And I decided I am going to get on stage for a dance competition. Ooh. That time I didn't even know my my I was good in MCing and uh-huh. all that. Uh-huh. So, I was given an opportunity to mm. go on stage. Mm. Hey, wa da- professional dancers up there. Wameandikwa <laughs> kazi wanafanyanga kila siku. They want to win that phone. Hey. Mimi and my amateur skills. <laughs> I decided I'm going ba- uh, on top of the stage. Oh. I only knew how to break dance. Ouch. So these other guys know uh, how to raga dance and uh, all dance hall. You uh, remember dance hall when yes, we were growing yes, up? So days. dance hall was the in thing. Uh, so me, the DJ just refuses to play hip hop. So ouch. I'm supposed to 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 break dance in a dance hall song. Imagine mm. I did that. <laughs> how does that work? The crowd mm. booed me off. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. So from there I got uh, so disappointed. Jeez. I was like, no. a stage fright. I no. honestly did. Mm. And I was telling myself I'll never go back on on top of the stage. Jeez. So yeah, that, that was quite it. 
the that's, like that's, I, that's that's a thing that can make you out of corona tense every I, time i got trauma <laughs> honestly nice. i did yeah. nice nice yeah. nice so uh what would you advise someone who went to enter into the mcing space mm-hmm. uh na maybe ako zileza i i i i i ako ako sure what would you advise someone i will tell try mm. just try mm. learn to get a mentor that's yes. the first point because mm-hmm. so many people of us are mcs yes uh, barack you're an mc yes i'm an mc yes but do we really have a mentor mm. who will who's at least on a level where he is totally a professional yes and will help us get there mm. so if you're starting off yes, yes. get a mentor mm. approach me mm. um so so flexible mm. tell me ted ted mc i want to learn from you mm. i will be tagging you along for gigs nice. i think you also mentioned you also had a mentor in the industry yes yes you yeah, have to have one who has been helping you in mm. yes. who you are today yes. so i will tell someone who's in the space mm. of i want to try out mc yes reach out to someone who's already there yes get to learn mm-hmm. and don't limit yourself on just one type of mc mm-hmm. i do weddings mm. that's actually what I would advise mm. the people who are in the industry. Yes. Don't do weddings alone. Mm. Challenge yourself. Mm. Do corporate. Mm. Do team building. Yes. Do everything that involves okay. I I don't do funerals. Mm. <laughs> Probably. You've never done a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I'll challenge myself. Challenge but, yourself. Yeah, uh, but I will just say just get a space. Uh, get to learn each and every single thing. Nice. So that at least as you grow, mm. you cannot be limited to doing something. Yeah. amazing yeah. so there we um, mentioned categories different different the mm. kind of events we have mm-hmm. so we have like uh, how many what kind of events have you done so far um i have done corporate events uh-huh. uh, i've specialized in mostly corporate okay i do wedding mc mm-hmm. i do birthday parties mm. graduations mm. and uh, a bit of bridal bridal mm. party okay here, okay here, nice here. nice showers yeah, yeah baby showers uh, not really i think i need to also Get yeah, to, for quite to that space, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby shower is enough. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. nice, 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 yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. There's one thing which uh stands out in mostly uh MCs and stuff. Mostly you keep okay but a MC. Most of them uh utakuta mtu kama a barack mm-hmm. for example mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. What one and you an African? Mm-hmm. What's your dress code as far as events are concerned? No job sit up banga bitenge. Yeah, bitenge. So what's your style as far as dressing because that's one thing then in you notice currently in the industry mm. a few years back in the industry you'd find MCs who just do a t-shirt and a jeans. Mm, true. Uh you find an MC amepiga tu khaki mm-hmm. na via tu casual mm-hmm. na amepiga jo ana mm-hmm. naingia na piga jo but currently you'd find uh, uh, the lights of kinapato mm. dressed by mm. dressed by this mm. fashion house mm. and stuff mm. what's your style what's your style as far as mm. uh <laughs> thing is concerned <laughs> before i answer that uh-huh. presentability really counts presentability yes mm. i used to go to gigs mm. when i was learning yes same thing you say uh-huh. jeans t-shirt mm. i'm going to an event yes i didn't really really used to dress the part yes but presentability since i started now mm-hmm. doing that yes. and being professional about it mm. and very intentional about it mm-hmm. i became the bow tie mc hey yeah. the bow tie mc <laughs> the bow tie you know my son nitakuja ni pesa tai ni copy moja Yeah, at least the t-shirt t-shirt uh, t-shirt t-shirt <laughs> kidogo. Yeah. Uh, that, But now uh, I'm the bow tie MC. That's uh, my identity. Uh, And yeah, it's it's really really working out. Nice, mm. nice, nice, mm-hmm. nice. So let's do a pop quiz at mm. uh, even as we wrap up this show. We'll be sharing your contact okay. at least for the people who may mention you can do mentorship to mm. other MCs out yeah. there, other young people who want to enter into this space. So we'll be giving out your contact. Okay. But before then, mm. before we wrap up this show, mm. we're going to do a pop quiz. Are you ready for the mm, pop I quiz? I'm good. I'm yes, good. I'm good. Very basic questions. Uh, I'm easy. Nothing complicated. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm Question ready. number one. Mm. What was your favorite subject in high school? Uh, history. 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 Favorite teacher? Favorite teacher, Mr. Chebwao. Eh, hey, alikuwa anafunza bado history. He was also my basketball teacher. Nice, I nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Eh. Uh-huh. Aya, uh, in high school mm-hmm. tulikuwa na subject ambayo ni Kiswahili. Mhm. Eh, ume umeongea English mingi acha tuone kama unajua Kiswahili. Eh. So, uh, kulikuwa na aina za salamu. Unakumbuka? I think so. 
aina za salamu salamu ya kwanza sabalkeri ilikuwa yajibiwa vipi pale pale high school at this point i am not kenyan <laughs> No 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 we be here by you Hey wow Bale high school Sabal Harry Eh Sabal Harry I I honestly don't remember Aki we ni mzungu bana we ni mzungu My Kiswahili teacher I am sorry Bana una choma So Sabal Harry was a greeting ilikuwa inajibiwa Aheri Oh Aheri Yes wow Yes wow just That was a very simple answer. Very simple. <laughs> very simple. Actually I, I hear it in the Luo means I love you. Oh, I hear it. Okay. Eh, okay. Hear it. Uh-huh. Eh, but okay in Kiswahili now it's Sapal Kheri I hear it. Okay. It's a greeting. Uh-huh. Even in greeting. Ah, nice. Yes, yes, nice. yes. Are you ready for the next question? I hope it's not in Kiswahili. <laughs> it's not in Kiswahili. <laughs> Thank you. What is your favorite food? Favorite food. Eh. Uh I'm Luya so ugali eh. and eh. chicken. Ugali. Ingo home has to be there it has to be there it has to be there na piri piri kobari kobari nice 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 yeah. favorite movie favorite movie uh, miracle in cell number 7 nice sijui hiyo nitaenda kuitafuta ni moto even as a man uh, you will feel your tears are somewhere here ouch but i love i love movies that have kids in uh-huh. it i love kids so kids. much yeah so nikiona tu mtoto i honestly get Uh, carried away. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. so Miracle in Cell 7, uh-huh. it has it deals with a kid that uh-huh. has been going through a tough time and the father was jailed, so uh-huh. yeah, something of the sort. So it's something it's a, it's worth watching. It's worth watching. It's emotional. Though. It's emotional. Yeah. Yeah. You love emotional movies. I, I kid you not. Gangster points the man look up. I'm like no. Emotional <laughs> ability as well. I know. You should be watching <laughs> like Taekwondo like Black something. Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, mm, nice. Mm. So that's your favorite movie. Mm. Uh huh. What is uh, f- a favorite destination that place you know, maybe how Jaenda love you really as in really? you really would love to go to. I think I've gone to that place but mm-hmm. I want to go back to uh-huh. South Africa. South Africa. This is beautiful. Sisi bado tunahisi tu Kenya today yenda mahali bwana. Eh. South Africa. Where exactly? Uh, right. Joburg, Joburg uh, uh-huh. Cape Town. Cape Town. Yeah, there's a place I toured. It's called uh-huh. Sun City. I think it's part of Saini and Joburg. Eh. Uh-huh. Very beautiful place. Uh-huh. Mimi the only place I know is Joburg. I really would love to go to Joburg. Yeah. So, from January yeah. walisema well, kuna venye you don't have to have a, a what? Oh, yeah. um, yes. Uh, a passport. a passport yes, yes so it's easier yes uh, so maybe maybe this season were sponsors <laughs> na my fans wa sana na mitindo simfanye ile kitu eh uh, we we go to south africa it's not a go fund me page tafadhali tafadhali yeah i need to travel eh yeah. uh, so uh, i guess we are done with the with the pop quiz mm-hmm. we finish with this last one favorite book favorite book yes uh, i will make a joke out of this yes i am not such so much of a reader uh-huh. but i read in between the lines oh wow 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 <laughs> that's amazing maliza na parting shot hata siongezi kitu ambia watu no i'm not i'm not adding anything else no i can't add anything else give us your parting shot my even part, as we wrap up the show shot. yes um ladies and gentlemen yes. i think the best thing you can do in this life is follow your Goal. like mm-hmm. chase after it mm. don't get tired mm. i got tired of mine but look at where i am mm. this is the show that is giving me interviews <laughs> yes. my career is giving me interviews yes yes ladies and gentlemen don't hesitate mm. chase after your goal mm. pray mm. that is the one number one rule yes. pray to your god to open doors because god always mm. does it for you amen so that will tell you chase after your goal put god first and mm. everything will go as you pray and mm. as you wish for Awesome awesome awesome. Where can we find you on social media? Where can we find you? Uh number yako maybe pia unaweza peana either or it's still okay. Yes. So on social media I go by the name Ted the MC that mm. is on Instagram, mm. Facebook and Twitter. Yes. Just follow Ted the MC. Yes. If at all like you let the exact person just uh follow Teddy Kakai that mm. that is my official name on every social media platform. Yes. So it's about Ted the MC or Teddy Kakai. Mm. If at all you want to find me directly, mm. I can share my number. Yes. 0712 mm. 636 777. Mm. 0712 636 
Thank you so much Teddy Kakai. Yeah, it has been quite an honor. Na feel na feel to endelea lakini naona director ananifanyia tu wrap up wrap up barack. But it has been really exciting. Man you are an inspiration to many out there and may you continue doing the good job you're doing there. Thank you so much. Mm. And I'm looking forward to doing an event with you. Tafadhali. I saw your energy. <laughs> Oh, definitely. Good energy. Good energy, amazing. Nashukuru, yeah, nashukuru. Thank you so much for having me. God hey, bless you. You're welcome. God bless your work too. Thank you. And since we're in the same industry, yes. I cannot wait to have this more and more opportunities. More and more. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, nashukuru sana. So that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo. That has been Ted the MC. Umesikia story yake bana. So if you need him to mentor you, He's open to do mentorship, so get in touch with him. Kwa your phone number yake ene mitupea. Alafu, you can also find him on social media. Go like, support his content pale YouTube. I don't know whether I can content pale YouTube. Yes, you can also check him out there. I have been your host, Isaac Varekodera. See you next Wednesday on another amazing episode with another amazing MC here on Wema TV. I have been your host, Punani Tenabadai, on another amazing show. Adios.